And if I last spell boxing down at the Colgreaves promotion in Leicester, joined by Prissy Boy Paddy Walsh. Congratulations, mate. Thank you very much. Good to see you again. Um, yeah, happy with that performance. Break that down for me. Um, well, last week I boxed in Ireland and I wasn't too happy with my performance, so we came straight over here this week, got a quick turnaround and uh, boxed much better this week. Um, unless BoxRec have got this wrong, you originally had a different opponent, is that right? Yeah, we meant to box Lopez this week, something happened in the week, so um, he wasn't able to come tonight, so we, we got a, a late replacement, Richard Helm, who's a very, very tough man, and uh, I boxed well tonight, yeah. How, how difficult is it to um, have a late a replacement opponent like that, D does it change your mindset at all? Well, we just take it round by round anyway, so whatever he was going to come out with, we were going to be prepared for and uh, really work on the things that my team weren't happy with last week. Good performance. Difficult, isn't it, when you've got an opponent that's coming to survive rather than fight? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, there were some moments in there he gave me a good little fight, but um, I was working on things I wasn't happy with and just uh, progressing each round. Sharp jab? Sharp jab, very sharp. Uh, my coach is right there, actually. He was happy, and he's not very happy with my jab sometimes. So, um, uh, If he's happy, I'm happy. Jump in, coach. Yeah. What do you think, Dave? I think So, coach, tell me about, about what Paddy's been working on. Paddy's been working very hard on the jab. He's a bit critical on himself most of the times, but Paddy has a super jab. He works very well. If I'm really seeing bring the right hand down into the body after jab, because Richard was just telling me there, he felt it, and he's glad he didn't do it again. <laughs> he's having to get through the rounds, but um, it was super, super work all together. Well, very slick tonight, I thought. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, just improving every fight for me. That was number six, so one more in December, and then um, enjoy the Christmas. So, <clears throat> you're getting out quite frequent. Is the plan to keep pushing like that in 25 as well? Oh, definitely, mate. I I'd box every week if I could, like I boxed last week. I'd box next week if I wanted to um, just because I love the experience love going on different shows meeting good people and uh, just keep improving ok all your fights so far have been fours when we're moving to sixes in December I have my first six rounder so then I can hopefully box for a title next year over my country is that back in Ireland? back in Ireland yeah so it'll be a Celtic belt that sounds like a great plan to me um, Paddy much appreciated you, you've obviously travelled a long way what do the sponsors do for you in the, in the off season? Uh, sponsors are always good to me. Um, they're good help to me and my brother. We uh, do hard training camps, so train it twice a day, six days a week. So it's all good for um, the help towards our training camp and our fights. At this stage in your career, I don't know if it's the same for you. All fighters are different, but lots and lots of fighters won't even be able to train without the sponsors. Yeah, definitely, mate. Um, my family do a lot for me as well. They always support me, so... Um, yeah, it's very hard sometimes. Uh, I know a lot of people are working with the training as well, but I can train full-time when I'm in the training camp, so it's good. Paddy, it's great seeing you out again. Last ball boxing will follow your journey going forward. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. Appreciate that, mate. Thank you.